coming back to the line. And after dominating all day, his crew out on pit road, Bill Elliott wins the 1985 Daytona 500. And Bill Elliott screams now for the checkered flag, and Elliott wins the Alabama 500 at Talladega. Look at that machine pass under the checkered flag. Bill Elliott is racing into the record books. Bill Elliott is going toward immortality. Bill Elliott gets the checkered flag. Bill Elliott has won an additional one million dollars in 1985. Elliott moves to the high side though of Earnhardt. Bill Elliott is going to win. There has been a serious incident on pit road. As all of the front of the field came onto pit road, the Bill Elliott team was changing tires, and as they did, two members of their crew were injured. Now we're watching what happened. You can already see Mike Waltrip's car spun around two other cars. This is after it has come to a finish. We're down here with Dan Elliott, who was also injured just slightly in that. Dan, tell us what happened. Don't know what happened. I came around the car, got my tire off, downed my tire, turned back around. I was putting the other one on, and people came across the top of me. I didn't know if a car hit them or a car hit our car, and it pushed me out of the way, and it, I fell on my shoulder and my leg, but other than that, I'm okay, but I couldn't see what happened. Now enters turn number four. Exiting turn number four, Bill Elliott from Dawsonville, Georgia, wins the final Winston Cup race. From all that happened the last couple of weeks, it really means a lot for us to come out and win this race. On Tuesday, Elliott went to Dobbins Air Force Base near Marietta, Georgia to film a public service announcement. Winning on the NASCAR circuit takes dedication, teamwork, and a strong will to succeed. You'll find that same spirit in the Air Force Reserve. We've got a place for you on the winning team. While there, he decided to take a ride in an F-16 Air National Guard jet. It was executing a bank and roll maneuver when the plane touched wings with an F-15 whose pilot ejected. Probably be a safe bet to say Bill Elliott will be sticking to high-speed racing on the ground instead of tooling around in a fighter jet from now on. Elliott was riding in a Georgia Air National Guard fighter jet today over Wadley, Georgia, when his plane collided with another Air Guard jet. They say no one was hurt in the incident. Elliott was filming a public service announcement for the Air Force Reserve when all this happened. Well, all I know, we were doing some maneuvers, and we turned, we made a turn, we came back around, and we clipped. The F-15. It all happened so quick, I really couldn't tell you what happened. No one was injured in the incident. Bill and the F-16 pilot landed safely, but Elliot was quoted as saying he was going to go home and have a nervous breakdown. They're celebrating the battle victory, but here is the war victory that's won by Bill Elliot Bill, they said it had been two years since the national title had been won and brought home to Georgia, not in football, basketball, or baseball. And now the Winston Cup goes home to Dawsonville. Well, you know, the thing of it is, it's for the guys at the shop, it's for the, all the people that supported me around Dawsonville, and it's for the people for the state of Georgia that's really backed me up. You know, that's, that's who it's for. 